Stan Jabalisco here, proprietor and operator of amateur radio station W1GV. Whiskey One. Good vibrations. To talk about the concept of a collinear array. The word collinear referring to the fact that one or more, two or more elements of an antenna lie all on a single straight line. And array referring to an array of antennas. So imagine, here's one of the simplest possible collinear arrays. Two half-wave dipole antennas placed end to end. And imagine that these ends are within millimeters of each other or inches of each other so that the current distribution on here looks like that. That's a collinear array if you place the two elements in a straight line if they are both straight to begin with and that's another criterion for collinear is that the elements all have to be straight line elements. They don't necessarily have to be fed in the center but they all have to be straight line elements. So what we have here basically is a two element collinear array. A very simple example. Now there's another way to get this effect and uh, that's to operate a half wave dipole antenna on its second harmonic frequency. That is twice the fundamental frequency of the antenna. And if you do that with an ordinary dipole antenna, ordinary half-wave dipole antenna, suppose that the antenna is cut so that it is one half wavelength at 7 megahertz. That would be about 66 feet from end to end. If you operate that thing on 14 megahertz, what you're going to get is a current distribution that looks just like the one I drew before. And again, you will have the exact same, in effect, the exact same two element collinear array. Now, of course, you can place dipoles end to end in multiple fashion. Many more than one. Uh, many more than one pair of dipoles. You might have two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten of them. Imagine these are all half-wave dipoles and they all are straight and they all lie on the same straight line. And what you have here is a ten element collinear array. And maybe you've seen some, uh, uh, some of these vertical collinear arrays for VHF that look very much like that except that they are tilted on their side so that they produce vertically polarized signals. You've seen a mast and then you've seen antennas that look like this. You ever seen those? Those are collinear arrays too. Now they don't necessarily have to be dipole antennas either. You can have collinear Yagi's. Imagine for example a Yagi antenna four element Yagi's placed side to side like this. I'm drawing this in perspective now. Suppose that you have four of them and the maximum radiation is more or less right at you or coming right underneath you like that. These are the booms of the antennas and the four elements are all lined right up so that the reflector in each antenna is in the same line as the reflector of all the others. The driven element, which would be this one, they're all lined up in a single line. Director number one right here, all along the same line, and director number two for each antenna also all along the same line. That too is a collinear array. So you can do that with a lot of different kinds of antennas. You can do it with phased end fire arrays. Uh, you can do it with a lot of different arrays as long as the elements are straight lines. Now, for example, then if you have a loop antenna like this, full wavelength loop, 
You can't make multiple full wavelength loops into a collinear array. You could place them so that they lie in the same plane and side by side to each other. And it, then you might get the same basic effect as you would get with a collinear array of dipoles. But a better word for this, although I've never heard this term used, would be coplanar array. A coplanar array of loops. And you can do that with quad antennas as well. What about vertical antennas? Well, I just showed you an example of vertical antennas, vertical dipoles stacked as a collinear array. But if you have a ground plane antenna, you can't really do that with one of those. That's just the basic concept of a collinear array. Stan Gibalisco, W1GV, signing off for now, saying 73 and so long.